So there he is. There's the man himself. So he's dropping me off for another Appalachian Trail hike. The so, clowns are coming. Yeah, the clowns. Maybe a sacrifice today. Oh, hopefully not. No more wandering woodsmen. All right, let's get away from him. I'll be back in a way. <laughs> so we'll say farewell as he abandons me out here. And here we go. Here are the white blazes. So as you can tell by the title of the video, I'm doing another one of my Appalachian Trail hikes. I haven't done one of these for a while. Yeah, so greetings from Pennsylvania once again. I know I usually say that at the beginning of the video, but I want to get a catch up video of John there. Yeah, as, as many, some of you know, I, I don't like clowns. So John always jokes about that. There being, you know, a horde of clowns out here in the woods waiting for me, which would be a nightmare for me. But anyway, yeah, we are, so I'm doing another one of my Appalachian Trail hike videos. I haven't done one of these since, man, I don't know when earlier this spring. And many of you know I am trying to hike all of the Appalachian Trail here in Pennsylvania, at least, you know, section by section. And this is my last section. I'm doing eight miles from Smith Gap to Wind Gap. In a little while I'll show you on the map where I'm at. And this will be my last section east of the Susquehanna River to do. So this is a big one for me. All right, like I said, a little bit later I'll pull the maps out and show you where I'm at. Then after today, all I have is like 40 or so miles in Michaux State Forest, South Central PA to do. Yeah, so it's actually a pretty nice day today. I've had some hot days recently, but today won't be as hot. I think today is July 27th. It's a Wednesday morning. Like I said, we got eight miles. All right, so I found a decent spot to pull out the maps. I know some of you like to see the maps, but here's our map of Pennsylvania. And we, today we're all the way up here by what's called Wind Gap. That's where I'm at, I'm hiking. Actually, no, we're down a little bit farther. A place called Smith Gap, and we're hiking north towards Wind Gap, eight miles. Let me get the other map out, I'll show you exactly where we are. All right, so here is the actual Appalachian Trail map made by the Keystone Trail Association. Of course, we left at Naomi back here at Wind Gap, and John just dropped me off way back here at Smith Gap, and we're making it, got eight miles to go. Looks like there's a the Leroy Smith shelter. We might stop there. Got some views, maybe. What's those red line? Uh, what do we call those marks are? This might have a few views along the way. And just a couple days ago on Friday morning, we were down in Delaware on the beach, brewing up some coffee, enjoying a hot cup of coffee, watching the sunrise, Cape Penlopen on their rocks there. That was amazing. Watching the waves come in and crash up on the rocks, seeing the sun come up. And now we're back in the mountains of Pennsylvania. It's good to have some variety though. Yeah, so back there is where we came from. I just got done talking at the end. Saw little orange markers here and I saw this, like, what does this say? And it says, beware of hornets just ahead. 723. So that was this past Saturday. Oh, you know what? I see it. The hornet nest. Because they have it all marked here. Okay. Yeah, there's a big old hornet's nest right there. You can see that. So, yeah. Beware of hornets. Yeah, we're on the other side now, but let's zoom in. They're definitely coming in and out of that nest. Yeah, you can see them in there. Uh, what are those called? Bald-faced hornets, I believe.
I will, will let them be. Yeah, so thanks to whoever put that little warning sign up. I mean, if you just walk past the nest, you're gonna be okay, but it's good to know it's there so you don't like bump into it, you know? But hornets aren't usually terribly aggressive, you know, unless you uh, endanger the nest. Then, then, not, then they'll have a problem with you, but if you just walk safely by at a distance, they'll just ignore you. But it's still good to know the nest is there so you're not just like blindly walking down and maybe reach out to, you know, to touch a branch or something and there's a hornet's nest there. Then, then you'll have a problem. <laughs> yeah, and I almost forgot to mention, I do have channel sticker number 26 with, it's back in my pack. But I think I'm gonna put that near the, uh, the Leroy Smith shelter halfway through this hike. I think so I'll put that one. So I'll get it out when we get there. Channel sticker number 26. Of course, we just placed number 25 down at Cape Henlopen. I also want to thank you guys too, you know, my friend John, you know, like many of you know, started his own channel, Hometown Historian. He's gotten a lot of support from you guys starting out. You know, he's still learning the ropes and stuff, but most of you have been supportive of him. He wasn't expecting to get as many subscribers as he did already. Because he's gotten some hate already, but I warned him. I warned him about that. You know, I, I have my own haters here on, on this channel. I said, I warned him, you know, they're going to they're gonna come to your channel too. And so, I think you guys first dislike already, but he's cool with it. So, that's the way it is. But anyway, thanks for you guys for supporting John. Kind of just been going through a tough time in his life here. And it's, you know, it, feels, it helps him to, just to feel good about what he's doing. So, thanks for that. And a big thank you to those who were on the trail before me this morning. They have busted through all the spider webs, so I don't have to. So whoever you are, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, there's times like this when you can see the trail go on and on before you. Reminds me of that poem, one of the poems in, uh, I if it's The Hobbit or Lord of the Rings. Uh, I don't remember parts of it. You know, the road goes ever on, and I must follow if I can, and so on and so on, but it kind of reminds me of this. The trail goes ever on, and I must follow if I can. There's a lot more to it, but I don't, I don't have the whole thing memorized. Beautiful poetry by Tolkien, though, in those books. So we got some more of these orange trail markers. Last time it was because of hornets. I don't see a sign this time though. But now I'm kinda looking around, where's, what should I be looking for? Actually, you know what, that looks like a nest right there almost. Oh yeah, it is. It's another nest but not uh, those bald-faced hornets this time. Let's zoom in. Look more like yellow jackets or something like that. Let's see who's going in and out of there. Anybody home? Oh, there you go. Yeah, those are nasty looking too. All right. We'll give them some space. Yeah, there's our sign. Hornets. Of course, this time it's on the north side of the trail. All right. The Day of the Hornets. Good title to a horror movie, Day of the Hornet. Not for me, hopefully, though. All right, so it's time to play Find the Chipmunk. Not sure if I can even find him on camera here. We'll see. I can see him with my eyes. Is that him right there? There we go. There he's hiding. It's one thing to see him with your eyes, but then to try and find him on the little camera screen. All right. All right, so let's head down through this grassy area, glanced over. Almost walk right past it. Looks like a dead leaf, but then you see those bright spots. 
That is an awesome looking moth there. Wow, see, it, cool camouflage. Looks like a dead leaf, but then its wings are open a little bit. You see those spots? Awesome. Yeah, so just stopping for a little hydration break. Hope there goes the bag, but yeah, so here's channel sticker number 26. Leroy Smith Shelter. So we got about, maybe about a mile and a half yet till we get to the shelter. Alright, so I don't know where we have a crossroads here. Of course the AT goes on straight. Looks like an old road. Didn't see this on the maps. Alright. I'm thinking we're not too far from the shelter. Of course on these hikes I keep thinking that to myself. But Well, looks like I was right this time. So I have to tell myself, well, maybe we have another mile to go yet, but I see a sign that says shelter. LS shelter, so it's the Leroy Smith shelter. Yeah, Leroy Smith shelter. Wind gap, 4.6 miles. All right, well, let's go, uh, let's go down to the shelter. So we've made our way down quite a bit here, but here's another little sign. I guess that means a shelter. But uh, there are trails all over the place here. I'm thinking that goes down to the spring. Let's see what this says up here. Oh yeah, I see the shelter up there. Seasonal spring. All right, so we'll see if we have the place to ourselves. It is through hiker season. I don't see anybody. All right. Cool. Leroy Smith shelter. And we'll take a break here. Find a place to put the channel sticker. Yeah, so if you do decide to come to the Leroy Smith shelter looking for this channel sticker, so it's about 4.6 miles to Wind Gap. So it means and the whole thing is about 8 miles, so it's about, you know, 3.4 miles from Smith Gap. That's probably the shorter way to come. It's also the flatter way to come. If you come up from Wind Gap, you have to go uphill, climb up the mountain. So, But that's you know, entirely up to you if, you if you decide to come looking for it. I haven't placed it anywhere yet, but just thought I'd throw it out there. Not a bad hike, actually, from Smith Gap. Not you know, it, Pennsylvania gets the term, you know, Rock Sylvania. It was it, the rocks are a little mild to slightly moderate in some places, but in some places it was it was just mud or muddy, but no rocks at all. So it's not too bad of a hike, actually. All right, I guess I'm just gonna chill off here for a little bit, and then I'll find a place to stash a sticker. All right, all right. So time to place the channel sticker. Of course, here is the shelter. I'm not going to place it anywhere right inside the shelter. I didn't really find a place. But right, right there's the steps, and right there's a rock right there at the corner of the steps. Of course, there's a sticker, and here's, here's a rock right here. I'm going to place the sticker under this rock here. I'm going to actually throw another rock up here, keep it hidden a little bit. Yep, so in there she lies underneath this rock right here. So it's here if you want to be the one to come get it. Be at least a you know 3.4 mile hike to get it. And as always, if you're the one that finds it, if you could send me a picture of you finding it, finding it that way I can share it in a future video. And as of today, I don't have any other uh, pictures to share of other people 
finding some. I think in the last the last channel sticker I placed down at Cape, Cape Henlopen, number 25, I shared two uh, channel stickers that were found. All right, hope you hope you find. If you don't want to come looking for it, hope you find it. And back to the trail. Wind gap, 4.6. Yeah, there's all kinds of tent sites around here and stuff. Yeah, this starts out as a, a blue, in second parts this is a blue blaze trail leading down to the shelter, but I'll talk about that in a moment. All right, let's get going. Yeah, so it is a bit of a walk off the main trail here to get to the shelter. I think it starts out as a blue blaze trail. You, you go across a power line cut, and then the the blue blaze trail kind of cuts off to the right. I'm not sure if that leads to the shelter or not. I continued to on a little bit, went downhill a little bit, and I saw other signs for the shelter. So I don't know. There were there were a lot of trails zigzagging around down there because there's a number of. It's not just a shelter. There's all these ten sites and everything too. But if you look for the shelter signs I showed in the video, you should be able to find it. All right, 4.6 miles. In this section, we should have some views. I think coming up right up here, we're gonna be walking along the power line. Might have a view. You know, the power line views are okay. I think there's another, other couple of views. This, this section we were on didn't have any. All right, but it's getting hotter too. All right. Yeah, so here we are coming out onto the power line. Got some other folks out here too. And there's our view. Bit of a hazy one. We'll get a little closer. So that wasn't too bad. There are some power lines in the way. It's a bit hazy out there. And that might be because of the fires out west. All the smoke is coming out this way. But there is another view coming up here, I think is for a pipeline that goes over the mountain. So there won't be any uh, power lines in a way because it's an it's a underground pipeline. I think I remember from looking at the map, that's not too far up this way. And the trail just got a lot rockier too, going this way. Maybe another reason, if, you're come, if you come looking for that channel sticker, maybe another reason to come from the other direction, from Smith Gap. But to each his own. Yeah, there's folks back at that overlook, the power line. Those are the ones that are busting through the spider webs before me. But now that I'm ahead of them, I'm the one that's running through the spider webs. Because it's not the huge ones, just the ones that the single strands that go along the trail, running right into them and stuff. So now I get to clear the trail for them, I guess. If they keep coming this way, not sure what they're doing. So I guess I'll return the favor. So that view from the pipeline is a little bit further than I thought. I just rechecked the map. I guess I stuck in my mind that it was just a little bit for, just a little bit of ways after the power line, but it's not. But it's almost one o'clock, about 12.52 or something like that. So we should be there. I figured we'd be there roughly at one o'clock by looking at the map again. So we should soon be there. Let's see what those views look like. All right. And some good news, the trail has gotten a lot less rocky. But some bad news, the bugs have got a lot worse. I mean, it is July, so they're gonna be here. And then here and there you have these, just these random little mushrooms growing. 
amongst the rocks. All right, I see an area of sunshine, abundant sunshine through the trees. So I think this is where the power line goes out, not the power line, the pipeline. So let's see what kind of views we get here. Yeah, that's definitely it up there. Let's just walk up here together. I'll turn you off just a little bit. Now, out into the sunshine. Got a plane. Oh, yeah. There's a few out there. And a lot of tall grass. This almost reminds me when we were down in Delaware last week at like a Bombay Hook or Prime Hook National Wildlife Refuge, walking through those, the boardwalk with the marsh and the tall marsh grass on the other side. Marsh grass, I should say. Except we're on top of a mountain. There's looking to the south a little bit. All right. Get back in the shade. And there are some more views up here. What the map says. Oh, that feels better. Yes, we're on the final stretch now. About another hour. There are two miles to go. Like I said, there should be some more views. According to the map, there's another spot up here we might get views on either side. That, I mean, that was kind of neat back there, but the grass is pretty tall. Well, hoping there's a pretty epic view up here. I can get some cool pictures. Maybe some cool shots of me you know, standing and looking out over. We'll see. Oh. You, know, you, you love these hikes, but at the same time, you kind of like when they're done, too. If that makes any sense. It is, I mean, it's, it's warming up. It's mid-July, so... Well, it's actually the end of July, but... All right, and spider webs. And check out these just off trail. These are uh, these are those Indian pipe flowers. They have no chlorophyll, so they're this white, beautiful white color. Some more up there. Yeah, I found a through hiker here on the Appalachian Trail. So, how long have you been hiking the trail, buddy? Probably decades, if not years. All right. Cool slug. He is on the Appalachian Trail, though. Making his way. Bit by bit, I guess. All right, so I see a little side trail, which I think is gonna lead to a view. Let's check it out. I mean, people are going down here, so let's check it out. Yep, we have a view. Small one, we got some blackberries here too. Any ripe, wait, make sure watch where I'm walking. Some ripe ones, here's a ripe one. Mmm, wow, there's one. Mmm, just a little, just a little tart. Yes, I just had a through hiker pass me up there. So now I guess it gets to break down all the spider webs. Not me anymore. I even told him as, told that to him as he walked by. I said, "Now, now someone else can knock the spider webs down." All right, so we are starting to head downhill into Wind Gap. It'll be a long downhill. I can even start to hear some traffic from Route 33 down there, so. Starting to wind down. But we still got a little ways to go yet. You can see it's starting to snake its way down. All right, so yeah, you kind of wonder, 
I kind of wonder who designed this trail sometimes. We were going down on the other side of the mountain, but then it went back up and goes over the mountain only to go down the other side now. It's like, why didn't we just stay up top and go down this side? But it, it kind of like, wow, we use all around sometimes. I'm not sure. But anyway, it's a good workout. I'll stop complaining. <laughs> And then here and there you have these, just these random little mushrooms growing amongst the rocks. Yeah, I almost missed the sign here. It says Hans Lookout. So I think that's what goes off to the right here. Let's check this out. Might be the best one of the day here. Well, there's a rock to, let's get up here on the rock. Well, there's looking out. I wouldn't say it's the best one, but that's Route 33 down there. All right, let's get back on trail. And now we're on the downhill, the steep downhill. I'm glad I'm going down, not up. All right, I gotta turn you off for this. Oh, I'm out of breath. Did I mention that the person who designed this part of the trail was probably drunk? <laughs> yeah, we did that steep downhill section. And guess what we did? We came all the way back up to the top again. Now we're back up at the top of the ridge. It doesn't make any sense, really. It's like, if you're gonna take us down, keep us down, but it takes you steeply down and we come right back up again. Oh boy. Hey, but you know what? There's a view over here. Let's go check it out. Let's quit complaining. Let's check out this view. <laughs> all right, all right. We'll see if it was worth hiking back all the way up to the top here. I just thought I heard something. Maybe this is the view I've been waiting for. Definitely beautiful. All right. A little bit closer. Yeah, there we go. Whew. All right, so I take back my mean words. This view is worth it. Although the trail still could have stayed on top of the ridge and still brought us to this view. But this is the view I was looking for today. One where I could set up the camera like I just did and catch myself looking out across nice rocks to sit on. This is the one I wanted. <laughs> Alright. So I'm going to take a little break here, have some more water, and then uh, we'll head on down. Just a tad noisy up here. You can hear the highway down there, but I'll check it out. We got the turkey vultures up there. I'm not dead though. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, this is the view, the view I wanted. Where I could sit on the rocks and just do this. <laughs> All right, so farewell to our overlook. Time for the real downhill. Yeah, just check the map again, and this is where we really go downhill, like I said. So as we continue on down to finish this hike, with some different feelings, you know, it's gonna be good to be done with, like I said, we dumped the whole section of the Appalachian Trail on the east side of Susquehanna here in Pennsylvania. And the vast majority of the trail on this section is, is on what's called Blue Mountain, starting from about Lebanon County all the way over. It's all on top of this one ridge. And we'll be done with that whole section today. So that's cool, but in a way it's kind of sad too, I guess. 
whenever you finish a milestone like that. Not that I can't ever hike any of these sections again, but like I said, we still have maybe roughly 40 miles to do in another section in South Central PA. I'm going to show State Forest. All right, this section going down isn't as bad as I thought. They kind of have these little switchbacks, which make it a little bit easier. And down here's the highway. That's Route 33. And we're actually gonna go under Route 33, it looks like, that way. Try not to get run over. Yeah, Naomi should be up that way somewhere, parking, waiting for me. And there she is. What a beautiful sight. And as always, thanks for coming along, and I'll see you around. I'm going to get in the air conditioning.